Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS Learning Forum, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, dynamic analysis, specifically modal analysis. And um, I got a lot of good information from this article by Steve Kiefer, and I'll link to that article in the description below the video. But uh, what he's showing here is how to do the important uh, work of extracting energy values from a modal analysis or, or a static structural, he said, but um, my interest is in the modal and then being able to say which of many components that are in the model are responsible for the specific amount of frequency uh, that's calculated for the whole system. So uh, be nice if you could you have four different components and you want to uh, increase the frequency knowing uh, which component uh, has the most strain energy will tell you to increase the stiffness of that and which component has the least strain energy and the most kinetic energy lower the mass on that and uh, that gives you good design guidance after running a modal analysis and so that's why we want to sum the energy in each component or body and um, Steve provides a whole lot of um, code APDL code in order to pull out the energy stored in um, solid elements as well as springs and uh, other types of objects that might be in the model uh, today I'm going to focus just on the solid elements because I am not an APDL expert, but I do have a very short script that um, will sum the energy, and that's what we're going to see today. So uh, what we have is a um, piece of, uh, a, we have a workbench with a brand new modal analysis, and I'm going to import some geometry uh, that is in this file. But uh, first I'll show that file, so let's, um, I'll go ahead and import that, but then we'll also open it to see what's there. So now we can see in uh, space claim, uh, there are four bodies in the semicircle here, and um, the bodies are separated, but I have gone into the workbench and use the share button to make sure that those three faces that touch each other will have coincident nodes, uh, will have um, a shared node. So this is called shared topology. So I don't have to use any bonded contact to hold these together. Just the nodes will um, be shared on those common faces. So that's what I have just imported. And now we're gonna go and open the model and uh, start working on it. So the model has come in. Uh, let's just do a few quick setups. Uh, in the environment tab, I want to have a fixed uh, support here. So that'll be my fixed support. And under mesh, uh, let's just see what we get when we uh, don't ask for any special treatment. We get a very adequate mesh. And um, under analysis settings, we're uh, gonna sit on the default six no modes uh, for the demo, but there's a few things under output controls that we need to do to get um, energy into the system, and that is to turn on energy as an output so that it can be used. Uh, some of these may be useful, uh, but uh, I'm not certain about them, but I'll just turn on uh, future analysis, yes, and save the database, yes, um, because I'm not super knowledgeable about, um, and, and I always do like when I'm doing modal to set a manual unit system, so I always save in the same units for uh, later things, because if you do a harmonic response, if the, nodal, if the units are different between modal and that, uh, it, it won't be able to use the modes. So uh, I th that may be enough, let's see. And the thing is we're going to pull in um, this piece of code 
which uh, I had a lot of help getting that um, to run, but uh, I can now just go to the solution branch, click on commands, and hit the paste button. And uh, if things work out well, that code will run and uh, we'll get some summary data. So let's go ahead and solve. So here is the solution. And if we um, click on this, we can insert some uh, mode shapes to look at, but the command has already run that it was written to sum all of the potential energy and all the elements here, as well as all the kinetic energy in each body. And let's take a quick look at that um, first. Let's open the solve the files directory. And um, this should have energy.out. And it does, but it's empty. So I'll have to go find out what I failed to turn on. Okay, so I have opened solve.out, which tells me uh, what is happening when my little piece of code runs. And I see here that there's an error. Um, body one is not defined. I forget, I forgot the step of uh, creating that because the code actually assumes that there is a body one through body four that it can select to do the summing. And I forgot to do that step uh, for us on this model. So I will do that now. And that is simply to, with my body tool, click the body, hit N for named selections and name that body one. And then just repeat body two. body three, and body four. And now we can um, just evaluate all results and see if we, if the uh, table reran. Um, let us go back to that solver files directory. And now I think I'll just rerun I'll just rerun the whole model. I'll clear generated data um, and solve it over. Now here is the um, body uh, is the code and let's see if we uh, have the data we want now. There, that's what I was looking for. So this is a table. So for modes one through six for body one, a column for the strain energy and a column for the kinetic energy. And uh, if you change units um, and in the solution output, you'll get uh, different units here. But uh, so long as we stick with those units, uh, the next thing we'll do, perhaps in the next video, is to um, plot the strain energy for mode one um, by body. So take that line and uh, that line, uh, rather, um, body two, mode one. And uh, the four thing, the four items get the fraction of potential energy and the fraction of kinetic energy. It's uh, an exercise to be done either in a programming language or in, uh, in Excel. And I'll uh, get to that in the next video. Thanks.